Joined now by Derek Parker from Jonquière. Uh, you spent a few years away from this league, but of course you're no secret to the uh, North American Hockey League. Uh, what brought you back? What is it about this league that uh, made you want to come back? Uh, one big thing uh, with my team, uh, Dean League of St. Coast. I played for him before in Port Hibial. Uh, I got a lot of really good friends on the team. Uh, Simone Le, Le, Le Bilite. I played with him my first year in St. Saint, uh, Seneca Saint. Saint. Uh, down the list, when I showed up this year and I uh, got in the dressing room, I was, I was greeted with some hugs and some good friends. Now this league has changed quite a bit. Six, seven years ago, you had 500 penalty minutes, penalty minutes in a season. Um, what has changed so much about this league that uh, you don't see that anymore? Uh, you know what? Let's say maybe we got a little older. Uh, things changed a little bit. Uh, some of those scores have been settled. There, there's no doubt that uh, it's still the toughest league in the world. Uh, that exists. Uh, some of the rules have changed, but it's still the same game. You know what? There, there's some, some of the same. Uh, you know, the dinosaurs of that of that era still exist. Uh, me being one of them, Brian Christian. Uh, but there's there's fewer the uh, de vrai de vrai. You know that that are left in this league. You guys have one of the toughest teams in the league, uh, first place team as well, but uh, with Grenier, yourself, uh, quite a few guys, uh, how important is that when you're playing against a team like Cornwall, maybe a younger team, uh, to get that into the game? Yeah, we definitely, you know, I, I played with Gabby Rock, I, I got to mention last night too, uh, he got a Gory Hell hat trick, which uh, for uh, for the allegiance of all the tough guys out there, like we all got to be proud of him, that's a good thing, played with him before. Uh, it's a factor in this league. Uh, you know, th this league's, it's like hockey in the 80s. Uh, you know what, if you do something, you gotta answer the bell in this league. Uh, you, you gotta back up your, back up your crap, and uh, you, really gotta, you really gotta do it. So in this league, uh, it definitely plays a factor. It, it's a men's league. Uh, it, they're men on the ice, and uh, we, we often police ourselves out there. Away from the rink, uh, you're involved in uh, mixed martial arts as well. Uh, tell, tell us how that's going for you. Uh, it's going real well. I, I won my last fight, actually, uh, October 26th. I actually missed a few games this, this season. Uh, Dean and I both knew that I was going to do that fight. Uh, at the moment, I, it doesn't look like I will be fighting again over the season. Um, probably more than likely not anyways, but I uh, continue to train. I'm in Montreal at uh, TriStar Gym and uh, continue to train to improve uh, some of my skills in that. What's more fun, an MMA fight or a fight in this league? Uh, definitely in this league. Uh, you know what, uh, hockey Hockey is a, a big part of my heart. You know, it's nothing like doing it for the for the guys on the bench and the 20 guys and the, you know, the, your fans there, but your, your team and, and uh, you know, realistically, uh, hockey fights are the most exciting combat sport there are out there. You know, they're, they're you know, it, it, it's the it's the cream of the crop of a combat sport. Uh, it's the part everybody likes to see. Thanks for doing this, Derek, and uh, we'll hope to see you on the ice next time. Thanks for having me.